FBI misbehavior. It is depressing to report this, but it's real. When news leaked that Attorney General Loretta Lynch held a private meeting with Bill Clinton, the famous one on the tarmac, the FBI apparently was far more concerned, according to newly released documents, with finding who had leaked the news of that meeting than it was with the meeting itself, which was obviously unethical. Tom Fitton is the president of Judicial Watch. He sued to obtain these documents. We wouldn't know about them if it weren't for him, and so we're grateful to have him on set tonight. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tucker. So tell us what you learned from these. Well, first of all, the FBI didn't want to give us these documents. We only found out about them through another lawsuit because the FBI, when we asked them for Clinton Lynch tarmac records, said they didn't have anything. So they lied to you? They lied to us. And, and then, by the way, you're acting under, I believe, FOIA, the Freedom of Information. Yeah, we had a right? federal lawsuit. Uh, they said they couldn't find anything. But another lawsuit about tarmac records, the Justice Department showed up, found records that, the F, that involved the FBI. So here you have a law enforcement agency ignoring federal law, just to be clear. That's right. And they, okay. ended, they took six weeks to turn over the 29 pages. And they show that the FBI was more concerned about a whistleblower in the local Phoenix Police Department, they think, who was talking about the meeting and how it happened than about the meeting itself. And they talk about trying to find the guy, and uh, they talk about reaching out to the local Phoenix. Trying to find the whistleblower? Yeah, trying to find him. They, want to, they wanted to get him and, uh, and punish him, presumably. And then secondly, they were reaching out to the Phoenix uh, FBI office to stem any further damage, I guess prevent any further leaks about the truth. So the agency about the charged with protecting us from terrorism and crime is spending its time trying to punish people who leak its own misdeeds, is what you're saying. That's right, and trying to prevent further leaks about the meeting between Bill Clinton and Attorney General Lynch. Remember, that meeting was never supposed to be disclosed. It was only uncovered thanks to a local, I think, ABC News reporter in Phoenix, and then you had other law enforcement back up uh, the counts of the meeting, and that's what set the FBI off. I think we didn't have gotten any documents showing the FBI has been was concerned about the meeting itself, which, according to the Attorney General of the United States at the time, General Lynch, she admitted it cast a shadow over her well, she Clinton investigation. As a result of that meeting. Well, she says she did, but she actually didn't. She made the final decision not to prosecute Hillary Clinton a few weeks after meeting with her husband, a witness and putative target. So she and the Attorney General Holder, who preceded her, are both obviously political and hacks, I think. But you would think that the agents who serve underneath him in the FBI would be non-political and be really worried about basic, basic ethical questions like this one. But you don't see that they were. Uh, well, th th this was a leadership. I mean, we're getting the top-level uh, right. emails. So as, as Joe uh, mentioned earlier, the leadership of the FBI was ruined by uh, James Comey and the and the politics of trying to protect Hillary Clinton. The Justice Department and the FBI uh, became arms of the Clinton campaign last year. And frankly, it continued into the Trump administration, as we saw with the ambush interview of General Flynn. I, I think there is a significant crisis, not only at the FBI, but at the Justice Department. We had this other FBI agent involved in the Clinton email investigation, also involved in the Russia investigation, a key decision maker, decision maker in both investigations. Both investigations, in my view, have been irredeemably compromised. The Clinton investigation needs to be reopened, and the Mueller investigation yeah. needs to be shut down until we figure out how badly it's been politicized in the least. And it's not just the inherently political investigations that have troubling elements. Some of the criminal investigations, the ones into the mass shootings, I think raise questions that are uh, that are striking. We're going to Vegas tomorrow, in fact, to look yeah. into the FBI investigation. We still we, we, we still don't have basic information about I'm, the I'm Vegas aware. shooting. That's why we're Crazy. going. Tom, thank you very much. You're welcome. How will a longtime Clinton ally respond to these recent revelations about Mueller's team and the FBI? We thought we'd bring.